Hey everybody, I wanna just share a quick encouragement with you that um, is just really encouraging me. Our role with the Lord is to respond. What do I mean by that? I mean that so many of us are such natural born leaders. We are so task oriented. We are so, hey Lisa Stomps, we are so driven and we're go-getters and we're doers and we're movers and we're shakers. But I think that the word of the Lord today is remember that our goal is to just respond to him. It's almost like we remove God sometimes from the equation and we think that we need to go back to a works mentality of I need to do this and this and this. I need to do the work of the ministry and you know all of these things and I'm just being drawn back to the conclusion that God is always the initiator in the relationship. He's always the one. Something so simple that I feel like can describe what I'm trying to say is that every time that I tell God I love you, I really ought to say I love you too. Because if my heart desires to say I love you, he has first said I love you, April. We need to begin again to let God lead. Have you ever seen a couple dancing and maybe the, uh, the wife is trying to lead and the man is trying to lead and it's not going anywhere? We need to let God lead. And um, I'm in John 15 right now. And John 15 says, I am the true vine, and my father is the vine dresser or the gardener. Every branch in me that does not bear fruit, he takes away, meaning God. We've got to remember that God has a work in ministry. I know that sounds like, of course, duh, but I think that too many times we almost remove him and think that we have to do it all and we don't he initiates every part of it and we can't run ahead of him and we can't lead god must be the one that is leading and that we are just responding to him so he takes away um he takes those away and every branch that b bears fruit he prunes God prunes. He's the initiator that it may bear more fruit. You are already clean, Jesus says, because of the word I have spoken to you. Why are we clean? Because of the word he spoke. We are clean because we are cleansed in response to what Jesus did and we believe it. Our job is believing, not leading. Believing. So, it's just taking so much pressure off of me this morning. Hallelujah. Let's keep reading in John 15. This is going to be quick. I've got someone coming over um, in just a few minutes. Ch uh, John 15, chapter 4. Abide in me and I in you. So our, our role is to abide in Jesus. Oh my goodness. How do I abide in Jesus? I feel like for one moment... I can't even keep my mind settled or my heart settled for one moment. How can I possibly? Well, he answers it and says um, right after that, for without me, you can do nothing. Lord, I need you to help me to abide in you. God, I need you to call me. I need you to draw me. And then my role is responding. My role is responding. And so Jesus calls through the Holy Spirit inside. And we, our role is responding. We don't have to initiate. Listen, he initiates every conversation. Every time you feel led to open the Bible, he started that. Every time you feel led to pray, he began that. Every time you feel led to help someone, he began that. All that we are called to do is to respond. We, we remove God and we think that we have to do works and we have to do these things on our own and we forget that anytime anything good we desire anything good it started with him calling us let's let's keep reading here verse 4 abide in me and i in you as the branch cannot bear fruit of itself unless it abides in the vine neither can you unless you abide in me so the key to being able to hear him is to abide in him and I believe the way to abide in him is to believe him. Believe. We're not going to be perfect. Oh, my goodness. We're not going to be able to 100% obey him. I, I want to, but he, he came because we couldn't do it. We couldn't do it. I can't do it. We have to have him to even help us abide. Let's keep reading. I am the vine and you're the branches. He who abides in me and I in him bears much fruit. How many of you want to bear fruit? I want to bear fruit of love, peace, patience, joy. And I'm trying to bear fruit, but I'm skipping my role. My role is abide in him, which means respond when he calls. 
He takes care of the fruit production. You see that? We're trying to produce fruit. He takes care of that. For without me, you can do nothing. I'll tell you, and this is for adults only, but without my husband, there would be no fruit. I could not have these five fruitful children. Without Jesus, without us abiding in him, intimacy with him, responding when he calls, there's no fruit in our lives. Let's keep reading. If anyone does not abide in me, he is cast out as a branch and is withered. How many of us are withered? Why? Because we're not abiding in him by responding when he calls. And they get and they gather them and throw them in the fire and they are burned. Somebody's trying to call me. If you abide in me and my words abide in you, you will ask what you desire and it shall be done for you by my Father. This is glorified. And I really want to read one more verse if I can. <clears throat> verse 16. You did not choose me. You did not initiate this thing, April. But I chose you. And I appointed you that you should go and bear fruit. And that your fruit should remain. That whatever you ask the Father in my name, he may give you. Come on, y'all. Let's stop taking the lead. Let's stop thinking we need to, to initiate and rather say, Lord, today I'm going to follow your lead, Holy Spirit inside of me, and I'm going to respond. I love you too, Lord. I love you too. Bye, y'all.